click the subscribe button, hit the bell icon to never miss another update. A very long time ago, there lived a humble girl called Mary. Mary worshipped God from childhood and treated others kindly. God loved Mary so much that he sent her food and fruit from paradise. One day, God sent Gabriel to Mary. Gabriel told Mary, God wants to give you a baby. But I'm not married yet, Mary said. Gabriel said, This is the will of God, and whatever he wants will be done. Then he gave her seven seeds of dates and vanished. Mary ate the dates. Days passed. She hid herself from the people. She didn't want to give birth to a child in the city because she knew people would not believe her about becoming pregnant. Mary reached the wild desert. When the pain began, she walked to the side of the palm tree. Mary prayed and asked God for help. Oh great God, help me. I cannot answer people. They certainly think I am a liar. I wish I had been dead already. A heavenly voice declared. Do not worry. Shake the palm tree to get fresh dates. Eat those dates and if people ask you something, tell them, I do not speak to anyone by the command of God. When Mary waved the tree, the tree was dead. Then suddenly, the tree became green again and sprouted dates. Mary picked and sucked some dates. At the same time, a sprinkler was drawn next to the tree. Mary sprayed a little water on her face, drank some and gave birth to her baby. When she returned to the city, people gathered round her and asked, Mary, where did this baby come from? Another said, You are a good girl. Shame on you. Where did you bring this baby from? Mary said, Ask this baby. I cannot speak. The people laughed and marveled. Can a baby talk? The baby spoke eloquently. I am the servant and the prophet of Allah alone. Allah has given me a book to guide people and to pray to give charity and to be kind to my mother. People whose mouths were left agog in wonder believed and respected Mary's words. Thirty years have passed and God has chosen Jesus as the prophet. He traveled to various cities at the will of God and informed people about God. He taught people to give zakat in the way of God and be kind to each other and worship the one and only God. But only a few people acted in the way Prophet Jesus had described. The rest of them mocked him and told him, If you are truthful, then you are the prophet. Show us a miracle. Prophet Jesus asked God to help him show a miracle to the people. At the time of Prophet Jesus, people were infected with dangerous illnesses. Some people had skin problems, others became blind. Prophet Jesus, as he traveled to different cities, healed the sick. And at God's will, he revived the dead. The people who saw the miracles from him believed more and more each day, and even some of them came along with Prophet Jesus to his next destination. Little by little, the prominence of the religion of Prophet Jesus came to the ears of the Jewish religion, and they were afraid that they would lose their position. So they went to the emperor and said to him, If you hold back, all people will follow the religion of Jesus. Then he will crush people against you and destroy your rule. The emperor believed in their words and ordered several of his men to arrest Prophet Jesus. This news came very soon to Prophet Jesus and his followers. They hid in a garden, but one night, one of the helpers of Prophet Jesus, called Jodas, was distracted by Satan and betrayed Prophet Jesus. He went to the emperor's offices and said, I know where Jesus is hiding. Come with me so I can show you. When Jodas and the officers came to the garden, Jodas showed Prophet Jesus his broom. But at that very moment, God willed Prophet Jesus to be hidden away from the infidels. When Jodas came out of the room, the Emperor's officers saw him in the form of Prophet Jesus and captured him. And the next morning, before the sun rose, they crucified Jodas and executed him. Prophet Jesus was taken into occultation and is still hidden from us to this day.